Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Guys, today is day one of my vintage and antique vacation. I am headed on my way tomorrow morning, as a matter of fact, 7 a.m. to be exact, um, to Colorado, Colorado Springs, to meet up with a lot of people. Of course, Sarah, the Traveling Button, and David, Junk Junk Mantiques live in Colorado Springs, so I'm excited to get to meet them. Of course, Misty's gonna be there, and Namor Amy. I'm very excited. Um, so that said, I decided to travel early, um, so that way I could get a hotel room near the airport, and I thought, you know what? Let me go ahead and check out what stores are nearby. And one of those places is the Antique Marketplace of Lemoyne. Now, Elizabeth, girl, I've seen your comments. I'm here, I'm here. It's really happening. It's gonna happen, Elizabeth. So it has been quite some time since I've been here, so I'm excited to get back in here. I've never filmed in here the last time I was here. I didn't even have a YouTube channel. So um, yeah, let's just head inside. Beautiful exterior though, right? Okay, guys, let's go inside. This place is big too, I know that. Got to be 18 to buy a knife, by the way. Alrighty, guys, here we go on to the exterior. Now, you are going to see a wide variety of items. I love the old floors in the building. Hopefully, we do get some of the creaks throughout. I, <laughs> do you remember these? Oh my gosh, I had Elvis's son. That would be quite the feat for me, I know that. But Oh, those old tabloids. That's not the only vendor that saw the tabloids, so... It was pretty cool to see. I thought it was funny. Um, I do see those being actually pretty collectible in a few years. So like I said, we are going to see quite a variety of different items from textiles, clothing, uh, vintage, antique, retro, uh, collectibles, high-end, kitschy, trash-tastic, and toys. I really did like this little rattan frog here. I thought he was cute. He had little marble eyes. Very bohemian, if you will. Nice little tooled leather trinket box there. I'm just going to check it all out. We're going to go a little bit slower. And I'm about to break one of my golden rules. I'm getting a basket right off of the get. Yes, I am. I'm willing to risk it. And then this giant bear was like, oh, are you really? Look at the claws on that thing. <laughs> now, we did see some pieces over here that drew my eye. And of course, it's going to be the Roseville. Uh, you know, they're priced very fairly, just not where I need them to be to resell. We got some wind-up toys there, which is really nice because they do come in their original box. And then I spot this piece, this little Weather Weller vase. There is obviously a repair on it. Uh, unfortunately, that color really kind of jumps out at you. These are really interesting. You know, I have picked up several of these over the course of time, and they actually are card receivers for back in the day you know you had a visitor and they could place their card in there very bougie so i thought that was pretty cool up next we've got a vendor who has got some beautiful glass now it is priced for collectors actually i would say it's priced um, a little under retail so definitely some good gets uh, for collectors just not far enough down to where I would need it to be. Though I did see this yellow stretch compote back here. I do like that. The color kind of kept me away from getting getting it. Though I will say it's very deco and I think you could put it into a bohemian decor. There is just all kinds of stuff to see here, you guys. What did we spot? Spotted some brooches here. These are like the acrylic beads. No, not what I'm looking for. I do like the enamel flowers. Wasn't really sold on those. Thought I would take a closer look, see if we could find any enamel brooches. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any. Though there is a lot of jewelry to choose from, that's for sure. Now, walking past, I did see this. It's Nursery Friends from France. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. Now, I actually personally own this book, so I know that the illustrations are in here are absolutely beautiful. It is full color. There's even little nursery rhymes um, to sing in this book. It's I just absolutely love that. Um, it is originally copyrighted 1925. This edition is 1927. Um, and here, we'll zoom in on it there a little bit for you. We're going to flip through the pages just so you can see the illustrations. Again, full color. Look at that. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I was trying to find the price. Oh, there it was. 
$23. I was like, oh, that's a little steep. Until I saw the 30% off sign. And then I said, 23 isn't so bad because we're going to get $6.90 off. So we definitely got that book. First get of the day. We're checking out some smalls here. Now we did see these enameled boxes here. Those caught my eye initially, but then when I was peeking over here to the side, something else caught my attention. And it is this bottle brush pink Christmas tree. I absolutely love this. And I was like, where's the price at? Where's the price at? Kind of having to root around here a little bit and decided to let me get it out. And it was uh, down here at the bottom. It was $60, which uh, I would have loved to have gotten this more as a craft project. Now it is a music box, obviously. Uh, I would have liked to dress it up a little bit more. I think she's a little plain as it is, but that was a shame. We have to leave that one behind. Lots of different items to see in here. It, it, I got to say, some of these vendors, they really got maximized their space, shall we say. Um, it's pretty awesome. It's a great way to be overwhelmed. Um, it, there's nothing worse than when you go in and you're like, is this it? <laughs> Lots of glass, ceramics, porcelain, service pieces, decorative. Got a little bit more of the glass over here. Got some rose bowls, some pink Ellie Smith, little art glass seahorse there. Again, we've got more of those receiving card bowls. Mm. Just not really seeing exactly what I'm looking for. We've got some Yadro, some Royal Dalton figurines, it appears. And then this bright green jumped out at me from down in the corner. Here she is. We've got a little bud vase. It is marked or stamped, I should say, Germany. And unfortunately, it's just not priced where we need it to be. And that's a shame because I love that cameo effect to it. Up next, we've moved on to the booth, booth next door. I want to check out the cases. You guys know that I love the cases. And then I spotted the candy containers back here. Good little chimney sweep and the Easter bunny there with the spring ears. Uh, about 125 or 150 I believe, for the Easter bunny. So we definitely want to leave that one behind. Just want to take our time, make sure that we don't miss anything. Just, wah, look! Oh no, it's Annabelle! <laughs> Uh, but like I say, there's a lot to see, so we definitely want to take our time, make sure that we don't leave anything behind. Now, the next vendor here had a lot of vintage and antique toys, and I love looking at the toys. Um, there's just a sense of nostalgia, and I will say that I do like ones that show some condition issues or, or wear. Um, I just think that it adds a sense of charm and whimsy to the pieces. You know, they were played with, right? They were loved at one time. Got a lot of cabinets, so gonna have to make sure that we slow down, get a closer look. Not really seeing anything for us. Hmm, that's okay. We're just gonna keep it moving here. Now, it did, of course, spot some Christmas, so that immediately caught my eye. Checking things out here hmm, some Yandro, some books, but it was that Christmas. Now, this Santa Claus is interesting let's just call him the beard wasn't in the best of condition so i did decide to leave him there however look at this little googly cross-eyed reindeer he's a blow mold um there is no stamp or my maker's mark on him look at those eyes now he does have a little indentation on his nose but for eight dollars what yeah we're totally gonna get that a little dupe du derpy moose up there ceramic figure and he was cute had some personality and then we have this little baby doll here he wants to love you <laughs> oh goodness so we've got some smaller items here didn't really see anything that caught my fancy so we're gonna go ahead and move on what did was a sale there was a lot of vendors that were having sales throughout the mall so that is always exciting Obviously, this vendor has a 20% off sale. They've got a lot of glass, a lot of ceramics. We've got some Indiana there and the iridescent blue. We've got some Ellie Smith here. Loving the little blue candy dish. Uh, priced at only $30 and with 20% off, that makes it only $24, which I think is really, really reasonable, especially for collectors. But it just wasn't wowing me, you know? 
look at this little <laughs> sassy cow. She's a single shaker. Um, $8, she's cute, I think, for the right collector, but it just wasn't for me. I think maybe if it was a set at $8 with 20% off, I definitely would have snapped it up, but not as a single shaker, though it makes a cute figurine. We've got some Pyrex, some Hazel Atlas here. We even have some pottery. What did I spot down here? Um, not a whole lot of anything. Nothing for me. There's those purple cow shakers. I've sold them a couple of times, so they just didn't wow me. Got some Fiesta wear, it looks like. Then over here, we've got what I believe is a left in cookie jar. I was making sure that lid was taped on. Look at these two. 16 with 20% off. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get that. I love the colors in it great for like your scottish decor i don't know i think they're really charming and cute so yeah i was very pleased with this it's not a huge piece though either so shipping on that is going to be relatively easy i love that check pattern on the cookies too all right moving on i did see this whole cornucopia here now it is of course marked on the bottom uh, the price was really good at 16 with 20% off. However, the comps on eBay were a little too close for comfort. So again, a great piece for a collector, but just not low enough to warrant me getting it. Though I will say personally, I really enjoyed the color scheme. I like those very natural tones, the greens, the browns. A little Christmas tree up here. Now this one was definitely priced out of our reselling budget, 120, even with the 20% off. That was just a no-go. So we did have to leave that one behind. We've got some hens on nest, just the plain milk glass and amber. So nothing super special about those. I think they're relatively common. You see there's a lot in a bunch of thrift stores. And then we have some satin glass and blue opalescent. Hmm. Yeah, nothing's really wowing me. And then I did spot this little sad eye puppy back here. I thought he was just a shaker, but he's actually a sugar creamer salt and pepper shaker set. So the head comes off and that is your uh, shaker. And then down below is your sugar bowl. And over here we have the coordinating shaker with the creamer on it. I wanted to get these, but at 35, even with the 20% off, I just simply couldn't do it in our budget so we did leave those ones behind though those were super cute to see i've never had seen those before down below here i saw this cute little doll sugar and spice i thought she was absolutely darling wanted to capture her on camera little ceramic inchworm the coloring uh it was so safe it wasn't weird enough for me now the stacking redware deer set, I've actually had this before, $40 with 20% off making it 32. It's really good, especially looking at that paint. These little home co owls, oh my goodness, they're so charming. You got a set of four um, for $12. They're so, they're itty bitties. They're little big eyed owls. They all have a little buddy there with them, a frog, a squirrel. What is that? An inchworm, a little blue creature. I have no idea. 12 bucks with 20% off for all four. We definitely got those. Now this was interesting. It was these skull stacking mugs. They do mugs. They do look contemporary. What do they have? 35, 20% off. I wanted to take it off to see if I could see a maker's mark, but they did have them zip tied in there, which is actually very clever. So they didn't get broken, but uh, a little too contemporary, so I left them behind. Though that's not saying that contemporary items can't have great resale value. Love the skeleton here. <laughs> He's seen a few things, that's for sure. Loving this um, pink bowl. It looks like a wedding bowl to me, though it could be a serving piece. I love that sawtooth edge on it. it looks very Demogorgon from Stranger Things. Alrighty guys, we're gonna move on. Here is a vendor who obviously has a love for the mid-century. Lots of brass here. Look at that display shelf on the back wall. Nothing was necessarily calling my name, though I did wanna capture it on film because I think that they really had a passion for, for the item, so. All right, we're gonna move on here. 
And of course, I saw those Santa Clauses, so I had to take a closer look. And I do love the little bisque babies here. Um, there is a sale on this boot, though I can't recall off the top of my head. Um, individually, they're a little high for me to get for resale, so I did have to leave it behind. Here, we've got a Rempel Frog Squeaker. Uh, he's priced at $150. I actually have the large and the small uh, Rempel Squeaker to that. This is about $19.30 condition looked pretty good especially given um that it was a child's toy clown alert <laughs> i think they're cute i don't think there was any really creepy clowns oh 20 percent off is what we would have got but even still the the price just isn't where i needed it to be you can see obviously there are a lot of advertising signs there in the back lots of pretzel containers um again super cute seeing a little clown creeping out there in the back mm-hmm Nothing really here for me, but we're taking a tour, right? It's a true shop with me, so we're going to see as much as we possibly can. Though I will say, if I were to film the entirety of the mall, uh, it'd be, the video would be about three hours. So I'm just trying to give you like my favorites, um, the things that kind of wowed me the most. Loving like the little 50s clothing boutique that we have set up here. Again, there's an obvious passion. Um, for their items. We do have some ceramics back here. I love the big eyed uh, cat. I found a, a bear that was similar, but at $20, I had to leave that one behind. We've obviously moved on. Now in this curio cabinet, I had to move quite a few things. It's a little tight fit in here. And of course, what drew me in was that 30% off sale. And I'm absolutely loving this head vase. Now it is priced at $29, but at 30% off, I, uh, I ended up getting her. She was just so unusual. There is a little bit of a Moriyagi there on the back of her hat. Um, I love the look of her. She's very German looking to me, or Czechoslovakian uh, in regards to manufacture. I don't know the specific name, but I thought she was fantastic. Here's a little shot for you Pyrex lovers out there. Uh, it's quite a collection. I didn't necessarily see anything that was overly rare, though you can definitely correct me down in the comments below. All right, so what do we got here? Not a whole lot of anything that's of interest to me. Let me clarify. We've got some depression glass, a lot of Ellie Smith glass you're going to see on display. I do like the owl head uh, basket. I think it's cute. It's priced at $32, which isn't too terribly bad, especially again for a collector. But I'm really looking for things that, you know, are of value that I'm getting good deals on. We've got a lot of the opalescent glass back here, the moonstone, if you will. Again, we're seeing more mid-century vibes going on with that amber glass, the Ellie Smith moon and stars. I mean, just it's just like aisle after aisle and everything is just chocked full. Oh my gosh, and look at that. Another vendor is having a sale. I mean, that just makes it, doesn't it though? When you walk in, nothing's on sale. It can be a little discouraging. So I don't know if I just had really good timing or if this is like a consistent thing. It's been over a year since I've actually been in Le Moyne. So I am spotting some smalls here. It wasn't the clown that I was focusing on. It was that multi-sized strand of mercury glass garland. They did read a little newer to me and there's nothing wrong with that, especially if you want to use them, but we're looking for those old ones. It is a narrow fit and there is giant creepy dolls hanging on the walls. I absolutely love it. Wanted to give you a quick shot here of what we were working with. Again, I didn't find too much, um, but still wanted to capture it on camera. And then I spotted him. It's the man, the legend. It is the Pee Wee Herman. I absolutely love him. I think he's so adorable. Little Pee Wee. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we've got a beautiful setup here. And you know, the thing that caught my eye was this uh, Benton E perm. This is in a thumbprint, it is obviously in an amber glass. They have it priced at only $95 and there was 10% off. I ran some quick comps on this. This one goes for about $250 to about $300. So I definitely wanted to pick it up. Um, I do inspect it a little bit closer to ensure that there's no chips or cracks on it.
Now the same vendor had this absolutely beautiful Art Nouveau style clock, though it is a reproduction. You can tell that from uh, the face or the clock was replaced. Another goose book here. Again, that's about a 1920s, but there's substantial damage to the cover. So I do leave that one behind. Going back for a closer look at that Fenton and you know, we picked that up. Sure do. Now, this vendor was speaking my language. They had all kinds of little package toppers. Um, I absolutely love these. These look like they would have actually been um, more of like a craft project with the solid wire on the bottom. Here you're seeing them on the chenille stems. They're just absolutely adorable. I love the items that were meant to be disposed of, yet they were held on to. Um, tiny little wooden ornaments here. We have a whole baggie of kind of like snowmen tie-ons those are only 650 for four of them they're in really good condition so i definitely want to pick them up we've got some santa package toppers here again with the spun heads they look new and then check out right next to them you guys there's two little elf spun heads for eight dollars oh my gosh the condition is phenomenal we're gonna get those too there were some other things. This one kind of looks just like a little hodgepodge of different package toppers put together. I have enough bits and bobs, so I do leave those. We do have some clowns here in the Christmas colors, $5. I kind of regret not getting them. Then I, I got distracted because I saw these. Look at how worried. They're very, they're pensive snowmen, right? Four of them spun on the chenille stem for $8.50. Oh my gosh, we're totally going to get those. And then finally, I actually saw some JC Lidecker Saturday evening post covers. Um, unfortunately, there weren't ones that I was really interesting in. He did a lot of uh, New Year's covers with the New Year's baby. Um, this one, he's obviously the little boy is at home, sick in bed. Um, they were at 25 each, which for a JC Lidecker cover is inexpensive. Um, but again, the subject matter wasn't where I needed it to be. So exciting to see, but I did decide to go ahead and leave those ones behind. There's even a little embalmed shark. Okay. Um, these guys caught my eye. Look at them. They're very happy. And it was $30 and I was like, okay, well, I guess you're going to have to go back and live on that shelf. <laughs> a little Fenton hand painted elephant at $90. Um, they, we do have these pink and blue sugared bears. I think they're super cute. They are $15 for the set. Uh, so I had to leave those ones behind. Now I will say that there is a sale in this vendor's booth. And again, you know, people can charge whatever it is that they want to charge. And I do appreciate though, that there was a sale, um, but they were out of my reselling budget, but there was some really charming, cute things. So I definitely wanted to capture it on camera. This was interesting. This little beaded spun head angel. I've never seen one of these before. $18. No, I think that's a darn good deal. She had some weight on her and I was trying to figure out why she was so heavy. Still don't know entirely why because behind that is a styrofoam block. So it was in some way weighted. Um, and I know there's a lot of glass beads, but she really had some, some serious weight on her. So again, we're just going to check things out here. I like these two, the anthropomorphic whale shakers, really cute. Those are at 16, not too bad there on that one. Great for your mermaid bathroom. And then I spotted this blue mountain pirate owl. Oh my gosh, I love this. The subject matter is on point, but unfortunately he's at $45. It's a nice size. It's big, but not too large. Some beautiful glass that we see here. Obviously we have a Fenton pink hobnail. It is priced at 95, which I think is very reasonable, especially given the size and the condition of the piece. This was interesting. We have Pyrex mixed with Fenton, mixed with Bristol, mixed with brass. Again, I love the diversity of the items at Le Moyne. So you, know, you can't go wrong. There really is going to be something here for everybody, regardless of your preferred aesthetic or the era in which you like to collect items from. Or if you just like to keep it eclectic, uh, you can keep on keeping it eclectic here. And then I spotted it. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? 
Oh my gosh, it is a piece of uh, Weller Luwelsa. Weller is the pottery company. Luwelsa is the name. Flip it over. I was like, $50? Is there something wrong with it? And then I was like, what is that? CB. That is underneath the glaze. We do have a manufacturing defect here. It is a ruffled jardinier. Semi-glazed. That was really, I'm, I want to look into this further. I have never found a piece where the artist has actually initialed into the pottery. And that is, again, under the glaze, the ruffle. There is matte and it's glazed. It's really, it's a really different piece. I've never seen this floral before. Um, there's no chips. Again, this is underneath the glaze. Um, there's no chips. There is some crazing, but there's no cracks. It was $50 with 10% off. I snatched that up. And then what caught my eye were these beautiful, oh my gosh, look at that color. It is stunning. They have it marked as a vase. I was trying to identify a maker. I didn't see any. I wonder if you couldn't use those actually as candlesticks, maybe. I think you could do both. How about that? But yeah, you see it there on the table. Of course you do, because it's like glowing blue. And then there's like, there's mulberry. And then I'm seeing this Czechoslovakian um, or Romanian uh, style chandelier here. It's, what is going on? And we have all the taxidermy next door. And then check out this absolutely beautiful figural uh, Victorian era lampshade. They're calling it Deco. I'm calling it Nouveau. Nouveau. It does look like it has its ori original beaded lamp uh, shades on it. And of course, we do have some Van Briggle here in the mulberry. Not my favorite color, I'm not going to lie. Um, now, this piece is absolutely... Look at the color on that. It is priced at $175. It is a beautiful... Oh, my goodness. That opalescence, how ethereal and magical is that doesn't not look like it's glowing i promise you it's really not that's just how it looks and then i spot a single horn pink depression glass what is going on here this one's only 44 dollars. that thing yeah you saw that i was like did i just break it i didn't it's just got one heck of a fit look at that i have never i have no zero no clue who made that and you can actually feel the ripples in the glass it's absolutely amazing and then i turn around and guess what we have more fenton eperns this one obviously is in a silver crest milk glass priced at 150. um i will argue that you could probably do a little bit better on that but the turquoise the depression oh and then i saw this majolica jardinier i loved it i loved it and then i didn't spot a maker on it we have a dark uh, indigo interior glaze. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about it. The coloring on it is a little everywhere. So I do put that one back. Then I spot this absolutely beautiful bookend. This thing is solid. Okay. I forget the maker. Um, I know that I found another piece and I can't remember the maker, but I love the sculptural detailing on this. It's like sharp, but still muted at the same time. Not priced where I need it to be, so I do leave it. I am going to leave that one behind. I ran some comps. It's a little bit below retail, so a good deal, but just not for me. We're going to leave the uh, Silvercrest behind. Um, the piece, oh, and then we do spot some Weller over here, but the piece that we are going to get is this Pink Depression Single Horn Epern. I think it is unusual, and I've never seen it before. That was a score. And then there is a piece of Rosebill here priced at $48. What, do you, what? It is the Zephyr Lily pattern. She's a nice big piece at $48. Definitely worth it. And then I'm like, is there something wrong with it? Is there something wrong with it? And I'm looking and I'm like, yeah, there is. It's because it was repaired. Why? Why do I keep finding the broken Rosebill? Curses curses roseville curses <laughs> and what i also keep finding are weird creepy baby doll projects though i will <laughs> i really do like this one uh with the bird cage underneath this little one here this one's propelling herself i don't know these are probably some of my most favorites i love the very steampunk feel to them 
Alrighty guys, we're getting close to the end. We're going to head downstairs. Now I will say for me downstairs, there were a lot of vintage inspired and kind of more contemporary decor pieces, though there were a couple of vintage items, the Ben Cooper mask. We do have a uh, composite cupie there, really cute. Um, it's definitely worth checking out downstairs. I didn't capture a lot because again, it's a lot of more contemporary stuff. So guess we're oh check out the the frankenstein blow mold he's brilliant i love him and then i spotted this monstrosity over here i have no idea what is going on it's like really cool and horrific all at the same time it is like this scarecrow whoa on this handle thing that you can rotate him and do all kinds of crazy business with them Apparently it's from Mattel and it's a hard to find piece, but I had zero clue what was going on or I couldn't figure out how to work it. Um, he's cute and weird, but I am going to leave him behind. Now the last items that we do find is an Erskerberg uh, German Nutcracker. I do have a small collection of these. Um, an easy way to identify the vintage ones is because they have original fur um, as well as those um, the eyes are while are hand painted they're a separate piece from the face um, I love him he's got a basket full of mushrooms only 17 bucks score then I see this little Russian 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 doll here she's got a spinning little head her arms kind of dangle around she is made to sit still she's only five dollars I love the brilliant bright saturated colors I found a piece similar to her it was a cat that was rocking a baby to sleep um again i love the folk art appeal to this piece um see there we can pop off her head and it's on a spindle and only five dollars you know what yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get it i think it's unusual subject matter so uh we're definitely gonna get that Alrighty guys, here is a basket shot and I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up outside. Don't forget everything else we got today too. Alright guys, see you there. Well you guys, that is it for today's video. I had a really good time. Um, it was great to be back in here. Even better that I got to really share the experience with you guys today. Now remember, you gotta let me know down in the comments what your favorite find of the day is or of course let me know the item you most wish I had picked up that I left behind. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.